Yo, I'm back with more rocks. Um, I decided I wanted glittery rocks specifically because there was one rock that we had that we used to have in the apothecary, but my mom chose to put it outside in the yard and then it rained and I thought it looked so nice and shiny in the rain. So I thought I want glittery rocks in the yard. So I decided I'm going to take one packet of every kind of glitter that I have and see how they all work. I'm going to make a test. So I had six different types of glitter, different like fatnesses, um, however you say that, different shapes and stuff. So anyways, I had, what is that white stuff called? I had used acrylic gesso on the bottoms of all the rocks so that they would have like a <clears throat> base so you can see it easily. And then I put down what is essentially Mod Podge. It's PVA glue and water, a little bit of water. So I put that down on the rock after of course, after they're completely dry of your gesso. So then you put your glue down on your rock and you can sprinkle however much glitter you want over it. So then I lined up all my glitters next to the glitter that is on the rock. How do you say that sentence? So that I could tell later which was what? Not that it's hard to figure out. <sighs> Anyways, so just basically do that. And then I have these tiny spoons, which make it a lot easier to do crafts and sprinkle your glitter and definitely you have to have a paintbrush for your glue but you got to wash it basically as soon as you're done using it or else it'll ruin the paintbrush which I don't mind if it's already a really bad paintbrush anyway there's some really um not so good paintbrushes that come in some kits so <clears throat> I wind up using those for glue anyways um this glitter I think I liked how it looked the most it was kind of like what you'd consider normal middle grade glitter, you know, like average sized glitter, kind of big, but small and uniform. And then I have even smaller and different shaped glitters as well. But the bigger ones, some of it is just like glitter flakes, like paper flakes. And some of it, the, the one that's kind of whiter, that has actually like shapes, like little um, musical notes. So it's more, what's that confetti kind of stuff called? Is it called confetti? You know, the, the little shapey stuff. Anyways, so I test all of my glitter rocks and then I decide we have a squirrel issue because they keep chopping a bunch of trees down in the neighborhood. So every time they do that, there's now new squirrels that come wildly to make things difficult in life. Anyways, so I thought if I put shiny glittery rocks all over the rail, the railing on the porch, maybe the squirrels won't like it and they'll stay away. So I left the glittery rocks there, but they got moved pretty quickly. So my test, it didn't. It didn't get to go on for very long. I still don't know if the glitter would deter the squirrels. I mean, I would hope that it would, but who's to say the squirrels are going to just sit on the rock or move it, knock it off the railing altogether. So I don't know. Anyways, those squirrels are annoying. There's one squirrel that we actually like that we refer to as no tail because he has no tail. I call it he. I don't know what gender it is. I don't know. But anyways, it's the squirrel with no tail. So we like that one and we like the one that's always with that one because that's a really docile one. But the ones that have been coming from these trees where they're knocking all these trees down, they're so scraggly and they are very, very different than the two sweet ones that we've been having. So anyways, once your glitter is dry, like fully, fully dry and you can touch it and tap it, you're going to want to gently don't, don't touch and tap it too much because you'll knock all your glitter off. But you don't want to want to, gonna want to gently go over it with a glue coating. You could use a Mod Podge or homemade Mod Podge. I had used this, but after doing this, I realized the glitter did not stay down very well with this at all. So I probably would have done, I will, I would have tested it with just a pure glue, not watered down at all. An actual school PVA glue, a white glue a light coat so that it doesn't like build up and look all weird, but enough that it's coated. So I would try that. I don't particularly love using clear glue because it's just not as strong and it's a completely different texture. Also, I tried to use my clear glue recently. Wow, this is hard sentences to say, but I can't get the lid off of it. <laughs> It glued shut and now it's stuck forever. Uh, there is literally no way my noodle arms can open that. I have been so weak since I hurt my spine. And I thought, you know, maybe I can build back up to getting strong because I had been working on strength training and it was really important to me. And I was working my way up to the 75 pounds pretty quickly. But then you got hurt, of course. And now 
I, when I had started physical therapy, that was something that was on my mind. So I was trying to ask her when we were trying to work me up to one pound weights and I was starting to get excited. Like, Hey, if I can work from one pound weights to five pound weights, maybe that means one day I can work to 50 pound weights. And she just didn't reply and stared at me with the sad look on her face. So, um, thanks. But what does it mean? So then I got told that your arm strength is directly correlated to your spinal strength. So I am never physically um, going to be able to be as strong as I used to be. Also, they don't think I'm ever going to be able to lift the 50 pounds. I don't like to believe that. I'd like to believe that that's not true. But I did get stuck at the five pounds and I could never seem to lift anything more than five pounds. Like once I hit the eight pound mark, I just couldn't pick it up anymore. Like I could pick up the seven pound, not for very long, especially if I hold it close to myself, that helps a lot. But the actual eight pounds, like if I'm just holding it with my arm, I cannot keep that up for very long. So, and I had been working on that for way longer. Like when I tried to go up to just the one pound, that was pretty quick. And then when I tried to go from the one pound to the five pound, this is a couple weeks, but I managed it. But then you get stuck at the five pound for months. It's so dis disheartening. So anyways, here's what my glitter rocks look like and what the glitter looked like in its container that I put on the rock. How do you say that sentence? Hmm. I don't know what order to say my words in, but it, it might make some sense. I don't know. I genuinely think that the vast majority of what I say doesn't make any sense at all. I liked this rock the most personally because I like this glitter a lot. It has like little music notes and butterflies and stuff. It's like confetti or whatever. I feel like there's another word for that that I'm trying to think of, but confetti seems to be the only one that's coming to my mind. So maybe that is the right word. I just, I, uh, words are failing me lately. I've been so stressed that I have like no mind. My brain is completely gone. So yeah, well, whatever. That's why you spend your life doing things like glitter rocks. And I made a blanket. I knitted a blanket and then I decided... I really like my knitted blanket, so I'm going to knit another blanket, but then I decided I'm just going to keep knitting and then I'll attach the two together and make a really, really big one. So we'll see where I end with that. I don't want to keep buying more yarn because I feel extremely wasteful using so much yarn, but I did manage to find yarn in the basement that was one of my sisters. So I salvaged a little bit of free to me yarn, which I like. <laughs> oh, so anyways, Here's my rocks. I don't know even why I'm talking about yarn, but I knit a lot lately, so it's been nice. Um, here are my rocks and my weird glitter attempt. I definitely recommend using some other cut, not the Mod Podge if you're going to seal it oh, uh, and put it outside. Also, if you plan to do that, a resin coat really would have been nice, but I personally don't like to use resin. <laughs> Bye.